All right, here we go, another day at the park. Um, got my uh, little bush plane out here, but we're trying something different. Today we got a pancake motor on it. This is a, uh, I don't know, 41 millimeter diameter motor with a 15 inch prop. Um, kind of curious about this. Uh, I like quiet airplanes, don't like bugging people. Um, Want to see how this works. Also, these pancake motors are remarkably uh, efficient. So this is a 15 inch uh, four by five pitch prop. Um, like I said, we're going to take it around the park and see how she does. Currently it's on a um, 4S 2200. Um, so I'll be curious where the uh, current um, comes out because on bench tests, you know, this thing should be flying at around two amps. That means if I take it up with a 21700, 5000, um, you'd be looking at ridiculous flight times. Uh, it could be interesting for projects. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, we'll play with that. Let's uh, see how she goes. <sighs> Feeling for uh, center of gravity as I walk out here. The CG is uh, right on the uh, points. You got a couple of uh, cutouts on the bottom of the wing. You can see that cutout there. That's uh, for center of gravity. So I'm going to uh, hand launch it just because uh, I have uh, questions on the gear system. Not a lot of prop clearance. Um, this was not, this grass has not been mowed a little bit. Um, I only have probably, I don't know, an inch or so of clearance. So without further ado, A lot of torque there. That's half throttle. <sighs> she needs a lot of aileron. That's a lot of parts. Yard sale. Anyway, we'll get back to it and play with that. Uh, there was a whole lot of uh, torque that I was having to overcome. Um, this is interesting. Wow, levels of torque that I haven't seen with a quad motor. Anyway, we'll play with something here soon. Well, that was an event. I want to show you something. This is pretty amazing. This is a uh, foam board airplane. And I mean, get a load of that. That thing just took it into the ground going at about 8,000 miles an hour, it looked like. Yes, the gear broke. Um, this is a low infill print gear. Uh, I probably should have printed it with a uh, higher infill to get better strength, but I'm just amazed. Airframe wise, next to no damage. I mean, it honestly came out very well. Yeah, the um, forward, uh, you know, the cowl closeout piece, um, that came off but everything else is fine. I could take this airplane, and I probably will, glue something else back in there, and she'll fly again. We don't let it die. Anyway, that's it.